Alrighty, we are now with the finale of Gajamada, the Pasunda Buba tragedy. In, uh, con c contrary to all the other scenarios in this campaign, this one's actually pretty short, but uh, it can be pretty intense. Let's get to it. While I was watching the dancers in the royal gardens, a plan came to me that will ensure the downfall of the city. Indonesian traditional dances are actually really cool. Between my king and one of their princesses, will cause the Sunda to lower their guard. I will then force them, under threat of destruction, to submit to my king's rule. It is a plot worthy of the cunning Cancel. My king has ordered me to go to Bubat Square in our capital to welcome the princess and escort her and her family to our palace. For my plan to succeed, not even the king can know of the plot. The Sunda will protest, but with their whole royal family in our city, surrounded by my soldiers, they will have no choice but to submit. Yep, this is, um, uh, not great. Turning down the volume this time. Just as the heater comes on, of course. Kill all of the royal Sunda, Sunda royal fighters in the capital. We are restricted to a pop limit of 125. Indian traders are nearby. Yes, they are. Uh, and we can buy Persian war elephants. The bandits in this region can be a real nuisance. Their raids will not stop until their camps are destroyed. Sunda will be able to train more units using Trollon's infrastructure. We need to capture these buildings by capturing all the banners in the capital. Gajamada does not allow his army to use siege weapons against his own capital. If we want to break through the walls, we have to use elephants. Gajamada's army is sitting in a small fortress south of the capital, waiting for news from its emissaries. The fortress is small and has no additional resources, so we have to run away. The Majapahit capital of Trollon is directly north of our position and is ruled by King Hayam Ruruk. The king has his palace in the eastern part of the city and is unaware of Gajamada's plans. The Sunda princes in Trollon are here for the royal wedding and are low in numbers, but since they are already in the city, we'll need to find a way to get into them. Outside the capital, to the west and north, there are several villages and army bases that we will uh, go ahead and grab. And because Gajamada has spent so much of his time campaigning, the Javanese bandits in this region have become very powerful, and they'll attack you. We would rather die as yep. free men than live under Majapahit's chain. Well, anyone could have seen that coming. Don't I get some trans? Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. These have 200 HP. Okay. I thought I got a transport. Yep. Well, I guess I just need to build two transports real quick. Anyway, so we need to get a military base, a friendly village, and... Uh, kill all of the princes. And yes, this did happen historically. Well, what really happened is, uh, in Bubat Square, Gajamada and his forces, you know, surrounded the Sunda, and then, you know, said, asked for their surrender, and then the Sunda were like, no, and then they fought, and were completely outnumbered and got completely massacred. Yeah, wasn't exactly a super pretty event. Anyway, um, you can go in two directions. You can go to the east here and take these guys, or you can go to the west here and take these guys. We are going to go to the east for reasons that will become very clear in a little bit. Also, the Javanese bandits are for some reason Burmese. No idea why. Also, they should have made Sunda yellow, because that's what they were in 3, uh, if you guys remember. Anyway, you can completely abandon this place. It doesn't do you any good. What will happen, though, is 
uh, there's going to be a wonder that is going to be instantly constructed once the, the king realizes what you're doing. So you do have to be pretty quick. Because the king isn't uh, about to let you massacre his guests. But we still do need to... So we shall. We are on good terms with the Mahajapi. Feel free to trade at our docks. Yes, we will. They're over here. Before I forget, we also sell war elephants for gold. They are stronger than the Southeast Asian variant and can take more arrow fire. You can use our docks however you please, great Gajamada. They are yours. Yeah, so you see that correctly you can buy fully upgraded elite war elephants persian elite war elephants i guess they don't have mahouts because they're indian to start but other than that they're fully upgraded for only 300 gold yeah so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna buy a ton of them and use them to take the city with just a bajillion war elephants which is why we chose this eastern base so we can go right over it's not going to be too easy, though. In fact, this scenario took me so long to beat in DE. I mean, it's not really that hard in HD. But they scattered some extra princes around Troolon. So it's it, it's still a race against the clock, for sure. It's one of those uh, short and uh, sweet, quote-unquote, campaign scenarios. Anyway, we have a pretty nice army right here. We're going to send our light cav ahead on good old 1 HP. Just so we can start getting our eco rolling. Sounds good. Loot! Was it a legendary? No. Just crap. I play a lot of Borderlands. And I've been playing a lot of Borderlands 3 recently. I'm not normally a single player or RPG kind of guy, but uh, I have my exceptions. Anyway, um... So yeah, we're going to get something of an economy going, because we still do need to make ships to storm the docks of Trollon, where the Sunda control them. And that's going to be, you know, a pretty crazy resistance, because they have infinite resources. Not only do they, do they have infinite resources, it's more than that. They have infinitely spawning units. They, like, they don't even train the units. They just get spawned in at regular intervals. It's, it's actually really kind of strange, but it's so that you can take back the city. You'll, you guys will see. Anyway, you definitely want to clear up the bandits, because they'll spawn in units as well. But you have a pretty huge army. You should be able to do it without too much hassle. Also, you have Gajamada himself again. But uh, just like in Gajamada 2, he's not all that useful. I mean, he has a lot of health and a lot of attack, but he's super slow. But yeah, the loot is certainly helpful. Let me see if that market's done. We'll go ahead and buy enough wood for another castle and stone, I guess. Go get him, Gaja. Yeah, 
Perfect. Yeah, I mean, this is... Eventually the bandits will take you over. It says they're in the feudal age, but for some reason they have imp upgrades. It's really weird. Loot! Okay, so if I recall correctly, yeah, you have to tribute them gold. So we're going to get banking, because we're going to be tributing them a lot of gold. And Sunda is post-imp. And we are just regular imp. Yeah, this is where the Indian traders are. bring everyone else over here. Like, we have a pretty large army, but we don't have the highest pop limit in the world, and because the enemy has so many fortifications and whatnot, it's not like these guys are going to be all that useful anymore. Alas. But yeah, you do have a time limit. I forget when the wonder... like, when the countdown begins, I guess. But we'll see it together, and then you can take note of it. Houses. Actually, I'll probably need more than a couple more houses because eventually all these are going to be destroyed. The archers that have plus four. Classic units getting stuck. Also going to build some more harbors just to help defend. And pretty soon we'll have enough resources to get banking and then start uh, requisitioning some elephants. I know I'm max pop, but like I said, they're going to destroy these houses eventually. Banking, banking, banking. Come on. Come on. Come on, banking. Come on, give me one food, please. There we go. I hate when that happens in multiplayer, and you're like, you're just waiting on one resource, and then you have like this moment of, oh wait, do I drop off? Do I use the market? Do I wait for it? Do I go do something else and come back when I have the resources? And then you just end up, like, wasting 15 seconds doing nothing. At least it happens to me more often than I'd like to admit. But I am mega noob. As I'm sure all of you know but very well at this point. Need one of these and one of these. 
All right, let's get this party started. Oh god, I forgot about this. How did I forget about this? It's a bugged voice line. Yeah, so every time we tribute them gold, they're gonna say the the same voice line. In the Southeast Asian variant, and can take more arrow fire. They should just be saying, your elephants are ready. You know, short, sweet, to the point. So, I thought, I guess it used to just be a wonder countdown, now you just get, <laughs> in 20 minutes you'll just lose. So you say... Well, we will grab Shipwright and Dry Dock. Just to, uh, because we still need, like I said, the fire ships to break through initially. Before we can land our Elephantos. Why are you guys stuck? Not only stuck, but they're being inefficient, which is even worse. Before I forget, we also sell war elephants for gold. They are stronger than the Southeast Asian variant and can take more arrow fire. Wait, we can get dry dock in just a second. More. Before I forget, we also sell war elephants for gold. They are stronger than the Southeast Asian variant and can take more arrow fire. Whoops, that was the wrong one. Before I forget, we also sell war Do you? They are stronger than I don't the think that's true. Asian variant and can take more arrow fire. Oh crap, we ran out of house space again. Well, sorry guys. Unfortunately, you guys aren't really going to be doing a whole hell of a lot at this point. Before I forget... They are stronger than the Southeast Asian variant and can take more arrow fire. Okay, right, we'll go in and at maybe ten minutes. I 
Before I forget, we also sell war elephants for gold. They are stronger than the Southeast East Asian variant and can take more arrow fire. Before I forget. Before I forget, we also sell war elephants for gold. They are stronger than the Southeast Asian variant and can take more arrow fire. Before I forget, we also sell war elephants for gold. They are stronger than the Southeast Asian variant and can take more arrow fire. Before I forget, we also sell war You're full on up. They are stronger than the Southeast Asian variant and can take more arrow fire. Before I forget, we also sell war elephants for gold. They are stronger than the South Asian variant and can take more arrow fire. So this is gonna be six. So let's get another round. Before I forget, we also sell war elephants. That'll be forty elite war elephants. That should be enough. Okay, these guys are obviously very precious. We are not going to want to lose them. But yeah, this is what I was saying with there being a lot of uh, naval defenses and stuff we have to go through. That's why you can't just spend all your gold on the elephants. It's a lot of naval defenses you have to get through. A lot of naval defenses. No. Unload. Unload. Okay. Got everyone unloaded. Anyway, we've reclaimed part of the city. Huzzah. Now, unfortunately, we kind of have to go everywhere. Because the Sunda Princes are, like, everywhere. It's really, really weird. It used to be back in, uh... HD. That the Sunda Princes were all located, you know, here in, in Mubat Plaza. Now they just have, like, a few sprinkled around everywhere. It's really annoying. The Sunda Princes, um... Or no, the Sunda Royal Fighters. My bad. But they have, like, a few everywhere. It's Like I said, it's really weird. And we're going to send the large majority of them down over this way, because this is where the big, big bad enemy area is. We're going to send these guys over this way. Hooray, part of the city. Oh god, I honestly don't remember exactly where they all are. This is obviously our only shot here. I remember them being like down this way. I think this is enough war elephants. I mean, they are fully upgraded war elephants, minus Mahouts. So you do. Why don't I get... Okay, here we are. Most units they can train to stop us, the better.
Yeah, like, here's one. Just randomly over here. Here's a few more, just randomly over here. And I think there's some more over here or something. Some halves are a little annoying. Like, this is, I think, really poor design. Like, why am I having to search through the whole frickin'... Oh, wait, here's one. See, like... <sighs> why are there, like, four over here? That you would have no reason to go over there normally. You had better come see me now, Gasha. Anyway, that was barely enough. An enemy of the state. But still, that was the Pasunda Bubat tragedy. And Gajamada in general. Here's the rest of Trollon. You can see that the buildings belong to Trollon, but they will spawn Sunda units until you capture them. So, like, they. It's that they have even more than infinite resources. They just have infinitely spawning units at regular intervals. But this is the whole uh, path when you go this way, if you want to go the overland route. Which I actually did the first time I played this. Uh, back in HD. But then I realized that you can just get war elephants over here, and then, yeah, makes your life a lot easier. Here's here's the wonder. dip dip dip, dip. First, all went according to my plan. My army surrounded the Sunda royal family, and I ordered them to surrender their weapons. I was convinced that they would comply. To my surprise, instead of surrendering, the Sunda drew their weapons and attacked my army, even though they were vastly outnumbered. I tried in vain to stop the fighting, but the Sunda were destroyed, and my blood crumbled to dust. My own king and his family, the family that I have spent my entire life serving, were disgusted by my actions. When the king summoned me, I could see the disappointment and loathing in his eyes. In tears, he told me that his bride-to-be had committed suicide, and that I had ruined the reputation of our empire. Many in the Majapahit Empire wanted me dead. But because of my long years of service, the king spared my life. Instead, I was to resign and to withdraw to a small mansion in the countryside. Death would have been a less harsh punishment than having to live with this shame. And so, here I am, a lonely old man, once ambitious and young, now trapped in this secluded place. I realized that I was not clever like the cancer, but rather greedy and blind, like the animals that it misleads. The assassination of the first king, the removal of the prime minister, all of the schemes that I planned and conspired. I let nothing come in the way of my ambitions. And now, I pay the price. Feels bad, man. Yeah, soon the largest army, 322. Anyway, that will be Gajamata. Next up, oh boy, will be Leloy. Oh boy. It'll be a doozy. See you guys next time.